Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time. Today we want to throw a look at the new DJI Osmo Z axis and we want to find out whether it's worth the money or not. And we want to compare some footage shot with the Z axis and some without the Z axis. Next to that, we want to find out whether the assembly and the usage is as easy as promised or if there are any problems. Let's get this episode started right now. Enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe right now. Thank you. The installation couldn't be easier. First of all, we unscrew the mobile device holder. Next, we rotate this bottom wheel to the left, which means we unlock the camera, hold on to it, because right now you can simply take it off. Now we need the Z axis and we take the bottom ending and just put it in there, lock it. Now we take the side arm, move it down and lock it into place. We can screw that in here. Now the Z axis is fixed. Finally, we take the camera and put it into this top holder, lock that as well. And to get started, we of course attach our mobile device holder again and we can now put our phones back in we could even attach a second device in here for example uh, the longer rod or something like that it's actually pretty cool and that's already the installation part couldn't have been easier right after the installation it's actually pretty simple getting started there are two knobs only the one at the top is the tension knob and if we rotate it we can see the z axis moving either up or down and we want to bring it down until it stands off of the handle, maybe in an 80 to 85 degrees angle. I have experienced that to work out the best. Again, not having the Z-axis uh, straight, but lowered a tiny little bit. And finally, if you hold down the one knob at the top, you can rotate the entire Z-axis up or down if you are more comfortable shooting that way, or I don't know, for shooting lower to the ground, could be useful. But normally I shoot just in the upright position and having the Z axis lowered a tiny little bit. And um, yeah, some people said that the knobs are quite heavy to use. I mean, I don't know, too complicated. And I must say, I have been using Steadicam systems before, and this is absolutely incredible. It's super easy to use, and you will love it, I think. Um, if you're ready to invest like 15 seconds of your time, you will love the Z axis. And right now, we can watch some test footage and we can compare some footage recorded once with the Z axis and compare it with some footage recorded with the normal Osmo setup only. Let's just see if the Z axis does the job. At the end of this episode, let's just collect the main pros and cons. What are the main pros? Of course, that the DJI Osmo Z axis does the job just perfectly. The image looks way better and um, I think it's super easy to install. Takes only around one minute. The uh, two knob use is pretty, pretty easy as well. And I think the pricing is awesome. If you compare it with the pricing 
of a normal steady cam for a camcorder or something like that. It's pretty much incredible. Now, what are the main cons? First of all, um, you cannot use the Z axis for, I don't know, crazy movement for running or stuff like that. Doesn't work that way. It only works for normal walking through a city or, I don't know, interviewing someone and walking backwards or forwards or something like that. It's perfect for that. And um, the next con is that the Osmo's Z axis doesn't fit into the normal case anymore and you will have to carry it around somehow. And when carrying around, the next con pops up and that is that DJI, um, I don't know, they, they didn't um, give us any plastic parts to protect the contacts if we now um, remove the Z axis. So there is no protection for the electronic parts at all. I think that's a small con. And finally, there is one last con and that is that you cannot use the Z axis when filming um, upside down. I mean, yes, you can use it, but the Z axis doesn't do anything anymore. It's kind of useless that way. But finally, I would say this is a must have if you wanna, I don't know, just uh, take the Osmo with you, I don't know, on holiday, or if you are planning on filming serious projects with it, it's a must have at that price. And of course, the product link can be found in the description. And by the way, if you purchase your gear through that link, you support my work for free. You do not pay a dime more, but I get a small commission and can that way continue shooting videos. Thanks for watching. This was Tom from CDT Tom's Tech Time. Stay tuned, over and out.